What's up everyone, Persia here again, and this is part two of our Inspiring Islands tour. We are gonna check out the next two that we've had lined up, and if you missed the first two, then be sure to check that out as well. Let's get going. I am actually here with Eka from Pork Belly. So yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, when I'm not playing Animal Crossing, I, I run a game studio out of Seattle called Outer Loop Games. We made a game called Falcon Age uh, that came out last cool. year. Um, yeah. I love I wanted your to put... logo, though. Oh, Pork Belly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this pink brick area, I wanted to have like a playground, kind of nice. more festive area. So we have the teacups, a couple stands, um, popcorn machine, and... You Wolf have area. to wobble the wrestler every time. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> It's yeah. so organized, like it's very pleasing to the eye. <gasps> your that was something I saw in your video. Your basketball court basketball is court. amazing. I spent let's see how many tiles is that? That took a <laughs> lot of tiles. A I lot. Think it's Twenty-three tiles. Oh my goodness, that that's a lot of dedication to this court. Honestly, it's one of the best looking ones because this rounded part right here, the arch is always the really hard part. It's to so get. hard, yeah. And did the, you the, make these yeah. with like a converter or just through the editor? Through the editor. So when I first started, uh, before I got the um, the store stuff where you can make, you know, extended mm -hmm. things, I, I ended up doing through uh, just on, you know, on PC and then uploading and I've gotten more used to doing it in in the editor. Yeah, how do you feel about the in-game editor as a designer in real life? It's it's great. Um, I wish there was an option to rotate patterns. Instead of doing one corner, I have to do all four corners. Oh Sounds no, I got smart. rid of my soccer ball. <laughs> I don't know where it went. <laughs> Someone stole it. <laughs> this side, I want to put a little boardwalk. So this is also a custom oh. tile. Oh, you have Statue of Liberty! Oh yeah, that's right. I did see this in the video too. I'm so jealous of everyone's uh, <laughs> cool <laughs> items like that. So, what did you design first, your island or your home? I feel like people usually do one or the other. One or the other. Um, so I did the island first. My home was a mess because I ended up reshaping it as I went, and I didn't have a whole lot of items. So I was trying to build out themes based on what I had. So mm -hmm. the living room was really eclectic. There's a kitchen oh, area. This is so cute. I'm gonna get into. Oh, this feels so cozy. Oh Pretty yes, outfit awesome. change. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, so you just have your own cooking shows in here. I started making um, custom icons for my trees early on. Oh, I see them. <laughs> the peach <laughs> looks so cute. I have a peach island, so I love that one so much. The pear is adorable though. Yes! Oh, I don't want to step on that scale. I'm going to swiftly avoid. Oh, ooh, <laughs> I love it. This wall tile is, is so it's cool. It's perfect. It's, yeah. It's this protein. chair, too, is so simple, but it's like the perfect theme for this room. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. Where yeah the like the coach cult. sits and yells at you when you're boxing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This is definitely my kind of color palette. That's cool. Yeah, I, I found <laughs> these. I, I, it's kind of like, I, you know, I look for the wallpaper and, and floor tiles and find a good color theme and then try to theme other uh, objects around that. Oh, Design. but you have the only cabinets that matter. Let's go. <laughs> I got yes. that from a friend the other day. So I was like, oh, I have to order some more. Oh man, your wallpaper is super cool. Yeah, I was trying to find a use for it. I was like, oh yeah, it lights up at night. I mean, it went in the dark, so like changing the light there. I love what? it. We're like... Mine gives me Resident Evil vibes for some reason. Right. <laughs> Ooh, I love this room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the bedroom. This I was trying to find fantastic. the most ex eccentric items and put them in the bedroom. <laughs> Avenge me! No! So yeah, I wanted wow, to awesome. do a nice little bamboo uh, pattern stuff that I hear. Yes, creepy baby <laughs> bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was thinking about like a Wow. I don't know what this cool. is yet, but like a little station with a cot and listen to alien signals or something. I don't know yet, but yeah, we're, we're searching for extraterrestrial life out here. We're uh, gonna get yeah. our first yeah. like alien villager from <laughs> outer awesome. space to come and stay. 
Well, that concludes our tour of Pork Belly, which was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been it's been a real treat. This game is is, is pure joy for me to be able to play it and uh, and be able to you know <laughs> hang out with friends and trade things and like just like visiting other people's islands. It's been great. Thank you so much, and everyone, if you want to learn more about Eka, then follow him everywhere at Ekanot. And we will see you guys later. Thank you. We are visiting Valinor next, and I'm actually here with a leaf. Oh my goodness, this beautiful flyover already, the waterfall work. Oh, Sable's here. What's up, girl? <laughs> well, first off, you are so adorable. I absolutely love the outfit. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a fan of this color palette too. I feel yes. like I dressed perfectly for the occasion. I feel like if I could be a part of a West or some film, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. The waterscaping is beautiful. I already love your custom paths here. Um, so uh, yeah, I will let you take over the tour. So yes. I actually have a little like bee center. I'm obsessed with bees. Like I have my own beehive and everything that <laughs> like in real life. So, so great. <laughs> um, wow, this is yeah. so pretty. And you found a great use for this iron shelf. I remember when I made it, I was like, where am I gonna put this? <laughs> but yeah, it's so perfect like, here. Kind of... How do you feel um, like the terraforming has been in terms of like, you know, it's kind of like a big pixel art project, but it can also be really weird, right? Working with the yeah. waterscaping. It is a pain. Like, <laughs> especially the water part, you just kind of keep clicking the water part over and over and keep doing the same spot because you're like no I wanted like a half a centimeter over and it like rebuilds <laughs> it it's it's awful but it's I feel like it's all worth it because you can really like right. make a bunch of things that you exactly. know, want to make I kind of didn't know what to do in a lot of spots so I just threw water on it I felt like that was <laughs> it looks great honestly this is a great <laughs> photo area right here with the waterfalls got nooks right there um, so this is the library <laughs> hold on let me geek out real quick you guys I am walking in it oh my goodness it's so amazing I did not think people would like it and they did and what's funny is this spot was just a hole i was like this is really weird shaped because i like put my museum where i wanted it and i had my stores where i wanted them and then i just like had a weird shape put the like, logo well. on the mug i did not know you could do that <laughs> fantastic 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh the bird in the cage and everything it's so amazing um so then down here would be towards our pier uh i just threw a bunch of kind of white stuff out here it's cute. so peaceful and gorgeous and the little duck i love it <laughs> go see the sights oh man you have all the best diys <laughs> <laughs> i've been hustling <laughs> so good it's been well worth it i love it this a little zen garden. <gasps> wow, so cool. Even with the pattern on the floor and everything. Wow, 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 wow. My mind's exploding. Okay. <laughs> I love it. But I still kind of spaced everything out to give everyone kind of like their own thing. And then I just felt like things weren't matching. And like a filter is great, but in gameplay, it like drove me crazy. So I just kind of <laughs> did colors for sections and try to match it with like people's houses oh gotcha so yeah it's piece. just like the same piece. color flowers and whatnot i saw uh this godzilla and it was like the first thing i think i bought at the <laughs> shop yes and i did like a little godzilla mothra kind of battle thing here so that has to it. stay even though it's not aesthetically pleasing <laughs> <laughs> and then my favorite part is Probably this little like secret tomb area up here. Ooh, it's like secret tomb. Wow, this is so nice and cozy. Love the mix of like the wood, the dirt with the stone patterns over it. Yeah, these ones are like different stones, so they have like the moss. So I just kind of did all the moss. Oh snap! A little fish market area. This is amazing. I love you that you have the music playing perfectly to give the vibe. Yeah, there's music everywhere. <laughs> These racks like kind of freak me out, but they're still perfect for your market. 
All right. Well, Elise, your island is amazing. I love it. So thank you so much for letting me tour. Thanks for checking it out. If you're not absolutely inspired to give your island a glow up after that, then be sure to stay tuned for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content here on GameSpot. It'll be sure to do the trick. Catch us next time as we feature some of the best recreations we've seen yet. Take care.